So yesterday we went out to do a job. I actually had to go do a, a repair job that was kind of next 15 miles away from the well that we were going to drill. And Dad and Mike went to uh, cut that well. When I got there at 12 o'clock, they were almost done with the well. Um, there were like boulders in the front yard. They ran into rock at like seven foot in the ground. They set 40 foot of casing. At 55 foot, they hit a bunch of water and a bunch of sand. And then again at 80 foot, they hit more water with a bunch of sand. They finished the well at 165 foot, but we blew the well after we stopped drilling at 165. We blew the well, just sat there and let it blow, let it blow, let it blow, flushing the well, trying to see if the sand would clear up and it never cleared up for like 45 minutes. So I would stick a shovel under there and I would catch some of the water, maybe two gallons of water with my shovel and I would probably pull out eight or 10 or 12 ounces of sand. It was absolutely insane. So today what we're gonna go do, we're gonna do something that, that we've never done before on the channel. We are gonna go put a screen in this well and we're gonna gravel pack it. So we've got the four inch liner right here on the back of the truck. You've seen me put in liners before, but you've never seen me put in a screen. A screen is essentially the same thing as a liner. A liner blocks out a certain section. The screen is, is utilizing that section and filtering it through small cracks of the pipe. And I'm gonna show you what the screen looks like. So these here actually came from another driller. So this is what screened, slotted screen looks like. It is this way the entire length of the pipe the pipe is extremely flimsy and flexible but it's easily broken so you got to be very easy with it when you go to install it now the game plan for today is since the wells 165 and the water's coming in between 55 and 80 foot so we're going to put three solid sticks on the bottom that'll cover from 160 to 100 and then we're going to put three slots of screen. So we're going to have screen from the 100 foot mark all the way up to, I believe, the 40 foot mark. That'll cover the water bearing zone. And then we're going to put two more sticks of a four inch solid on top of it. And then we've got filter gravel that we're going to pour in between. So basically what you see here, this is your six inch diameter borehole. The four inch pipe is gonna go inside of it and it's gonna sit kind of centralized like this. And then the void that you see right here, this void is where the filter gravel is gonna go. So the filter gravel gets poured and it goes around it in this area. You're not gonna be able to see any of that because it's all gonna be happening down in the hole. But that's what we're gonna do. There's gonna be 165 feet of this pipe in the well. And right now there's only 40 foot of casing in the well. Well, we made it here to the job. First things first, I'm gonna get my measuring tape. We're gonna measure the depth of this hole and make sure everything is good to go. We've got like probably, I don't know, 280 foot of sediment out here on a 160 foot hole. We're at 120 foot so far. So far, so good. In, um, it's at one, 148. Okay, so 150. Yeah, so what, 15 feet. Of yeah, 15 foot of sand 15 came in on it. Okay, that ain't bad. Well below the uh, where the water came in at. Yeah. That'll make it easier putting the casing in. It's better than the last one. The last one filled in from 400 foot to 100 foot overnight. All right. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's, see. Let's go ahead and bring it all out and lay it out back here, huh? Yep. Well, before we go ahead and fire the rig up, that's when y'all aren't going to be able to hear anything else we're doing. Give you kind of an understanding. So the first three here, one, two, three, those are going to go in the bottom. And then we have one, two, three that are going to be slitted. So now because the well's filled in with 10 or 12 or 15 foot of sand overnight, it'll go down to the 150 foot mark. It'll probably push into the sand to a certain point, but uh, basically the slotted screen will be from the 30 foot mark down to the 90 foot mark. And then we'll put two more on top of it and we'll be good to go. All right, let's fire it up.
Yeah, straps go in the water truck, Mike. Okay. First bag. Stand him up. Want to cut the edge? Leave your tank now. Woo, I'm pushing all the damn yeah, the PVC glue, glue out. The glue yeah. air out. Yep, yep I'm getting a whiff of it. Oh, I can fix that. Light it on fire, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Extremely blamable. Most definitely. Oh, look at that. We're fancy now. We got a DeWalt fan. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all get an understanding of what we're doing. We're putting the gravel on the outside and the slits in the gravel allow the water to permeate through and block the sand off. If you didn't do this, then the sand would eventually fill the well in. This way it'll always flow water. We fixed a few in the past like this and they, they work actually good. It's more common to have this done on the coastal coastal area. They have screened wells that just use stuff like this. It's not very common for us, but we're we're pretty far from home. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go too fast and have a bridge. Right. Remember we did this over on Tar River Road? Yeah. It was a 400 some odd footer. But that was, that that well had like a 380 foot static level. What? Yeah, yeah, we blew it out thinking that the well had collapsed, but it didn't. When we got down to 400 foot, the well made six gallons a minute again. It was in the, Oh, over in Tar River, huh? Yep. He had to take, uh, we, it was me and you and Hudson and Alex. Okay. Yeah. It's the first time that we set up on the rig, set up was on the Was that in the Jurassic Basin area? It was. Okay. It was. Same neighborhood where the uh, geologists found that that blue rock and we hit it at 160. Right. Same neighborhood. He was at Jurassic the Basin, y'all. Want something fun? Look that up. Yeah, I got pictures of that job yeah. in, uh, in my house on the wall. Okay. He had a pump house. Yeah, around. it was. I remember. I thought it was in the front the front yard. Uh, it was an old farmhouse. Okay. He had to whoa, 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 whoa. Move your hand. Move your hand. Move your hand. Stop. Take your hand out of it. Well, I, I wanted to make sure it was going to go down the well. It's going down the well. Okay. Um, yeah, he had to take the pump house down. Second time we had been in the well. He's like, I think it's filled in again. And I'm like, okay. But it wasn't. The pump was at 400 foot. It had a 380 foot static level. So when we went back, we cut the well to like 480. Some weird shit like that. Right. Right? And we set the pump down there. And we set it on black roller? We on set it on black roller. Really? We extended it. You knew better than that. <laughs> what, did we get 250 pipe in? We did. Okay. We ordered a 500 foot roll. Okay. He had a horse and a half. Franklin pump on it. Right. And he's like, what, what would you do if I was in I said, I'd sell your house. <laughs> That's what I told him. He said he was tired of not having water. I was like, well, you live in an area where there's hard to find any. Yeah, that trash and basin was tough. Mm. We're running out of bags, all right. Shout out to Glenn Dart of uh, Preferred Pumps. Thank you, man. Appreciate the help. He brought us a screen and he gave us the information about wells down here. Yeah. Glenn actually used to be in the, in the <coughs> trade. He used to be a well driller, so it, it, some of his information is very helpful. <coughs> Just like this. Yeah, all this came out of that void. That's right. We blew so much sand up. It's really not too dissimilar to what we're pouring back in there. What? No, it's uh, it's pretty close. It's just sand right here. Mm 
No clay in it, just pretty white sand, like beach sand. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to have the house, wouldn't it? No, it'd be trekked all through the house. Uh-huh. <laughs> My house in the house. Yeah. That's what grandkids are for. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's just like I got one of them little hoppy horses at the house. Yeah. It's got wheels on it. Yeah. But it, on my new floor in the living room. Oh, your new floor. Yeah, they take that thing and scoot it across my floor. So I took it to the dump. <laughs> and guess who ended up with it? <laughs> who? My dad went back and, <laughs> and got picked, it. And that's at his house. <laughs> Good for your dad. Yeah, I said, if I knew you wanted, you could have had it. Twenty-seven foot, baby. Okay, good. Perfect. That's all I wanted to know. Yep. Okay. This is how I lower the four inch. Other people will tie a rope on it and, and lower it in. I'd just rather cut it flush and then cut it with this later. like that. Hot dog. Good deal. Well, we've got the gravel in there and um, everything's set up. <clears throat> so what we got to do now is basically just tear the rig apart, lay it down, and then we'll be back here in uh, a few weeks and we'll hook a pump up. This one's going to get a three inch grumpus pump to go inside the four inch slotted sleeve. All right, we're gonna write all the notes on the side of the casing. So we always know that that well's got a slotted screen in it, not a liner. Well, we are all done for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I just felt like since I have never shown anybody uh, the screening process of a well, I figured it'd be a good day to make a video on that. Um, kind of last minute but there's not much more to it um, you know we'll come back in a week or so and put in the pump system hook it all up once the homeowner or the housing builder says it's time for us to put in the pump and uh, luckily we were able to save that well so it'll make it'll make good water we talked to um, two other well drillers that's what they said they would do um, that's kind of what I told dad yesterday I would do and they all kind of agreed so once you get a bunch of well drillers all on the same uh, subject and we all come up with the same you know end result then you feel like you're moving in the right direction so thank you all for watching i will see y'all on the next one if you haven't make sure you give the video a thumbs up that really helps the algorithm and uh if you have any um video ideas or anything that you want to see drop them in the comment section below um kind of running out of ideas that's why the videos have slowed down also, workload has increased. That's another reason why the videos have slowed down. I, you know, filming and editing and all of this is another job. And running an online business is another job. And doing my regular daily work for the company is a job. So I'm putting in like three times the effort to do all this, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Hope y'all have a good weekend, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.